Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create these bots here for our race game. So they drive the race as well. So first of all I prepared something for this. I created these splines here. They are a component of the start. As you can see this is line 1 and line 2. Just spline components that I put in the world here. As you know from my previous tutorials I used this that the AI follow his path in this case, so we use this one. Second, we go to our Firebird, so our basic car, whatever you use, and we create two more variables. The first one, of course, is the AI boolean, and the second one is the speed as an float. And what I also prepared is the classic get path function, link is in the description if you don't know this function. So we create a new function called start AI. And this is pretty simple. We take out our vehicle movement. We call our get path function here like this. Then we set the steering input, of course, to this one here. And then we get out our speed. and set the throttle input as well to the speed one. And don't forget to set the speed default value to, in my case, 0 0.8 if you want. Great, so that's done here. Let's go back to the event graph. From the last tutorial, we have the event tick event. Otherwise, you just put it in here. Then we take out our start AI function here. We take out the AI Boolean, get it ask with the branch is the AI true if it's true we start the AI if not we go directly to this create service effect and connect this as well because the AI should have this as well great compile and save this so we are done here we can close the firebird and we go to the checkpoints because here's another point the checkpoints triggers the firebird but if you have an AI, it should not be triggered by the AI version. So let's pull out the get AI here. Take a branch to ask. If it's an AI, we do nothing. If it's not an AI, so it's a player, we trigger the checkpoint. So let's go to our race actor here and we need a new variable called cars. And this will be an porn object reference as an array. Great. So let's create a new function for this that called spawn bots. And the spawn bots function is pretty simple. We take out our start here, get the world transform of the race position two. So for the race position two, three and four. Great. And every part we say split structure pin here, like that. Great. So, and then we say spawn AI from class. We choose, in my case, the Firebird, so the basic car. And then we just connect the location and the rotation. We get out our cars here and say add. And the return value goes into the add here. So we place every spawned car into the cars variable. So we can just copy and paste this up here, connect the second location and second rotation as well for the last one, like that. Of course, we connect the array. Great. So you can increase this by how many cars you want of course. Then we go back to our event graph and between the spawn and the countdown we just place the spawn bots function like that. Great. So now we need another function for start bots. The start bots function is pretty easy. We take out our cars here, get them for each loop like that. Then we cost to, in my case, the Firebird, so the basic car. 
Do we go from the array index, say switch on integer like this. We add up three pins for three cars in this case. If you have more cars, of course, you add more pins. We get the start here and get the line one, so the spline component and the other one as well. So get line two like this. And then we go from the Firebird and say set active path. So the spline component variable. Is this a part of the get path function? Just to let you know, we copy and paste this down here three times, of course, for every situation. And the line one goes in the middle here, and this will be the other active path components. And then we just connect, of course, the Firebird with every target here. Again, from the Firebird, we set the AI Boolean, of course, to true. And this will be copy and pasted for every situation like that. Great. And then we just go back to the event graph and at the end where we have the delay and get the input for the player, we just start the bots as well. So let's see if this works. We go and hit play. Start the race. There are the bots. And when the game is starting, the bots start drive as well. And they will follow the street like we draw it. So there are a few ways to optimize this. I put the link in the description for my draw path tutorial and also the tutorial from the Unreal Engine itself where they show how to minimize and control the sliding of the cars for the AI. So that will be a problem here in the curve. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.